Hello, my name is Omar Aragonis, and I was the last week with the guitar, and I was at home through that uh, the duration of my time with the guitar, and it was a very interesting time. Um, I would even say emotional time for me. I um, found myself alone in my home, which I'm not used to being alone, and it just happened to come at the right time, I think, for me. Um, there was a lot of things happening in my life. I had stepped away from songwriting pretty much almost a year of not picking up the guitar and writing a song, um, which I feel very uh, ashamed about, but I'm not going to hold on to that too long. So, yeah, um, Alexander approached me at a uh, vulnerable time in my life, and um, being at home, um, it was a good time to, to, to do that, to get back into songwriting. So I started off writing, and um, I think I had gone through three songs before I decided just to go with this last one. Um, and the reason about why is because I, I don't know, songwriting for me has always been this overthinking thing in my mind of like, well, no, it could be something different. No, you're like, you're creating this reality, so it can be this, it can be this. You, after listening to a recording of it, I'm trying something different, and it's like, oh, but I like the new one more, and that's just pretty much the story of my life, and so, um, it's kind of been a, a learning experience in terms of the things that I do to really distract myself, to just look for the good feelings in things, um, like the trap of just looking for, trying to feel good, and all while doing that, it's like, I'm distracting myself from being myself or from doing what I feel like fulfills my purpose. And in this case, um, it was, uh, I think, which one of my purposes is writing, writing songs and doing music. And so um, this is what the song is about, um, you know kind of experiencing heartbreak um, as this cycle in my life. And it's like I'm chasing heartbreak almost. I'm chasing the things that make me feel good, but it always leads to heartbreak. And I'm kind of distracting myself and not really getting to know myself if that means anything. Like really developing a relationship with myself and loving myself and loving what I do. I feel like when I write songs and I release them, I just, I don't have that relationship with them. It's like, oh, just take it and I'm just gonna look the other way and I don't know, hopefully somebody likes it and I'm just like cringing the whole time and that's just not the way that I want to be anymore. Um, I don't, I don't know where that came from, so um, this was a good exercise for me to get back into um, just writing, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of tears that came out on some of the songs that I wrote, and while I was writing them, I felt like, okay, I mean, I don't think it's anything profound, but I'm just happy that this opened the door to reconnecting back with something that is very near and dear to me that I haven't really um, explored in a while. So, I entitle the song Keeping It Real. It's, it's a lyric in the song, and it's just me coming to terms with my faults, coming to terms with my blind spots and my tendencies, that end up working against me or not serving me. 
So I'm in a place in my life where I have to wake up and keep it real and keep it moving. Otherwise, time will go by and I will just be another... Um, casualty of the chaotic nature of life just going with the breeze and those aren't my intentions so um thanks for thanks uh alexander for inviting me on and i look forward to hearing what everybody else has so thank you